Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, back to the just one preview a day, one club preview a day, because I'm back, obviously back from the holiday, so um, from a couple of days off. So we get straight into it. Um, today is going to be my, obviously my favourite uh, video of this series of the pre of the pre-season preview series um because i'm going to be previewing my boys the uh the hawks so we'll get straight into it uh coached by alistair clarkson the uh the man in clarko's commandos he's clarko um the longest tenured coach at the moment so, yeah, coached by Alistair Clarkson, captained by Jared Roughhead at $26 for the flag. Um, as much as I would love to say that, you know, you know we're going to win the flag for A, B and C reasons, like it's a lock, you know, put your money on now. It's unfortunately just not going to happen. Um, we've just lost a couple of big players we obviously missed finals last year and we've got some players back of uh, one of the reasons that we missed finals last year was because we had quite a few players out and we've got all those players back minus a couple but those couple are really big and i just think it's rebuilding year um so, yeah, it's not going to happen this year, unfortunately, for the Hawks, but $26, sport, uh, sports bet says. And actually, uh, an article just came out today, written by Andy Marr, who said, um, why Hawthorne, why not? So, you know, he says, why not for the Hawks to win the flag? But, you know, um, I, as a Hawthorne supporter, even, I really don't think so. I'm just... Trying to be as realistic as possible. It's just I don't think it's going to happen. So uh, let's start with the ins. Through the draft, we've got James Warple, Dylan Moore, and Jackson Ross. Um, through the rookie draft, we've got Harrison Jones and David Mirror, who has played quite a few years at Box Hill, and has finally been. Um, given his chance at the um, the senior level, so brilliant for him. Well done, Andrew Mirror. Uh, David Mirror, sorry. Um, and we've also got a um, international rookie in Chankath Jiath, and um, um, a Sudanese uh, player who is big, and hopefully you can play some good footy, gets a few games, and we'll see how that goes. We've also picked up one draft pick, uh, one uh, trade, sorry, uh, in German Impey from Port Adelaide. So, you know, the young speedster. We've actually, we've, um, last season we, so not the trade period just gone, but the previous one we lost Bradley Hill, and he was our speedster, or well, one of our many speedsters. And, um, we've lost there, like we lost them, and now, um, we've got Jarman Impey, so hopefully he can fill a bit of the void. He's not going to be filling the full void, of course, but hopefully he'll be filling a bit, um, a bit of the void left by those players. So, those are the ins. Hopeful, uh, hopefully some pretty good ins, playing some good footy. Hopefully, get some game time, all that. Um... Over to the outs, a lot of our, uh, quite a few outs, some very big ones, or one huge one, which I mentioned a few days ago, but, um, so we'll start with the delistings of, uh, Cade Stewart and Billy Hartung, which honestly I was surprised with these couple, I'm quite happy that, um, Billy Hartung's actually got picked, um, back picked up. Again, by um, North Melbourne, which is fantastic for him. But, um, yeah, it's not great for those guys, but I'm glad for Billy that he's gotten picked up again. So there's the delistings. Um, some retirements, a few retirements. Jack Fitzpatrick, 
um, through uh, various concussions, which is really unfortunate for him. I mean, he he wasn't going to be a Brownlow medalist, you know, but um, I think he could have played some more good footy if he hadn't have got been struck down with so many uh, concussions and injuries and that kind of stuff. He he did actually um, kick the winning goal against um, against Collingwood one game, which I was at that game, and that was pretty good. Like, it's really the only thing he's done for the Browning Gold of that that you consider great. But, um, and even if you can consider that great, but, um, yeah, it was, he will be missed just almost solely for the fact that he is out because of injury and just the unfortunateness of that. So, um... Next, we have Luke Sermon, who's another injury-riddled person who, unfortunately, is called a quits because of injury, but um, hopefully he can play a bit of, of some less, you know, contact, less contact, I guess, but um, local footy and keep his, like, like keep playing footy because it's obviously what he loves, so hopefully he can. Um... Next is Tyrone Vickery, who, um, actually something I will say, obviously the flag's not going to happen, but every team that has gotten rid of Vickery has won the flag next year. So, um, no, that's just a bit of a stupid joke I've been going along with, um, because obviously the other Tigers let go of him, um, in the last trade period, and then they won the flag last year, so, you know. We got rid of him this year, but, um, no, that's not going to happen. Um, next one is Josh Gibson, uh, the defender who we will really miss back in defence. Um, he was on Armour Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. It was, I don't watch that show, but I just know he was on and kind of robbed of the, um, of the crown. He was pretty sure from memory he was the last one eliminated, so disappointing for him. But he did get a flag. He he got some flags for Hawthorne. He get he got none at his previous club of North Melbourne, but he did uh, get a few with Hawthorne, and he cried after every single one. So um, yeah, that 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 shows commitment to the club that you're in. So great for him. And the last one that I will mention, the last out, is massive, as I mentioned. A few days ago, still, you know, coming to terms with, is the departure of Luke Hodge to Brisbane. Huge, 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 massive hit for us. Um, he was an um, he was an incredible player, an incredible leader. He was um, former captain. He just was the one on field to direct everyone. If someone was lost, they'd look to Hodge. And, and he'd say, yeah, you're going this way, or this is what to do, and he would just give advice to the young boys, you know, between plays, and, uh, yeah, we're just, he's going to be incredibly, obviously he was an incredible player himself, you know, when he was, um, like, when he had the footy himself, but even when he didn't have the footy, it was just, that's what we're going to miss, I think, mostly. Um... You know, just the incredible leadership that he had. So, good for Brisbane, but um, not so good for us. So, um, got a couple of injuries that, um, that to start the season, sorry. Uh, Grant Birchall had some knee surgery last year. He's actually my favourite player. And he had some surgery last year, which was really disappointing. But he won't quite be back yet. He's still got a little while out, but um, hopefully he can heal up nice and quick and get back on field, which is what he's best at. So that's great. And also Jonathan Segler, he did his um, ACL um, in 2016. Is actually the same match as Nick Nat Nui did. I did his. It was Hawthorne West Coast. Nick Nat Nui and Segler both went down in the same match. Uh, Nat Nui's back. 
he is back, but um, Segler is still out. He's actually had some back issues. I'm not 110% sure what they are, but he has had some back issues. And um, hopefully he can get them all sorted out and get back into it. Because he's... I'm really missing him. He's um, been out for, you know, a year and a half now. And he's quite a good ruckman. I quite like him. He's probably our number one. He's probably our number one ruckman at the moment. And just haven't had him, which is disappointing. You know, him and McAvoy, one and two. Obviously, McAvoy would be up to one now because Zegler's out. But um, that would be funny over one and two, I think, for us. Now... Round one, we've got um got Collingwood, which as I said a few days ago in my Collingwood preview, could it, um, it could really go either way. Um, we're obviously gonna not do fantastic this year, and either will Collingwood, but um, or, um, it really could go either way. You don't know round one. You know some matches, as I said, with Collingwood's preview, some matches are. Fantastic! Like some matches, you can like really predictable. Sorry, is the word I was looking for. You can you can just say you know this team's gonna win easily, and that's just gonna happen. But I really can't with Colin with Collingwood Hawthorne. I'd love the Hawks to win. That would be great. But as I said in the Collingwood preview, a one and one last year, one one lost one. But um. Yeah, I just don't know how our team's going to stack up. It'll it'll be tough without Hodgie. Really, it will be. So maybe we will lose, I don't know. But, um, I don't know. Like, uh, um, I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, so, um, that is my preview for the Hawks. Um, comment below how you think the Hawks will go. Obviously, yeah. Uh, I think we're actually going to be going um, about the middle, possibly higher than last year, but with our losses, especially um, Hodge and Gibson, I just think if we do rise, it'll be great, but we'll either be the same, so you know, the 12 to 14, or we'll drop, I think. So maybe even down to fifteen. I I don't know. I'd I'd love to say that we um we're gonna win the flag as I said before, but um it's just I don't know. We're not gonna make finals in my opinion. A lot of Hawthorne supporters will um and have disagreed with me, but um I just think realistically we aren't gonna make it. But you know I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. So I'd love. A piece of silverware. Haven't had them for a while, so you know it'd be good. All right. So thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. How you think the Hawks will go? Um, yeah. How you think we'll be affected by the loss of Hodge, which is obviously huge. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.